Hey everyone, I wanted to make a uh, quick video today to kind of do a comparison or analysis of some of the <clears throat> electrical receptacles on the market that have USB charging functionality built into them. There's a couple of big players in the market uh, with a couple of different models and varying prices, range, and features, and I just wanted to give a down-to-earth analysis comparison. This will be part one of a two-part video series on this. I just wanted to go over the basics. Um, so I've sort of been interested in um, in this for a while because I think really you know five volt systems are really five volt USB is really won over the market over you know five volt twelve volt at least with DC and the electronics and it's really becoming an integral part of our life and we really need to have these features built into a lot of our devices. So um, we'll start to see these more in residential and commercial environments. And the question is really what's what's the difference? Who's who's, who's the players? You know. Um, and what you should be looking for as a consumer here. So I want to start with um, uh, the standard Leviton uh, model. It's the, uh, the T5630W, standard one that you see at Home Depot that kind of like started this whole thing off. Although it wasn't the first one on the market, it was the first one to really make it become a <coughs> retail market in the Home Depots. Uh, Leviton's a preferred vendor on the East Coast. I don't know about the West Coast. Um, and then over at Lowe's down the street, Pat and Seymour, which is a Legrand, um, Subsidiary has a similar model. This is their, um, this one's in a beige, but it's their uh, TM8 USB LA CC6. And these are both uh, 15 amp um, models. And the big feature here, of course, is you get uh, 2.1 amps with the 5 volts or 11, 12 watts. And then you get one uh, 115 volt 15 amp receptacle. Um, well, Leviton. Um, two things that these things have in common, of course, you get the one receptacle, they're 15 volt. Let me scoot over real quick and we'll come back and look at some of the other features. Hubble, which you're not going to find retail in most regions, makes two different models. They make a 15 amp um, version of their model, which is the uh, USB 15.2W. But look at this, they also make a 20 amp model for industrial and commercial environments. So if you're working in a business environment, you almost certainly have to have this model. These will not do unless you have ganged them off a, GF, a 20 amp GFIC um, receptacle. So um, and this is the USB 20X2W. And the big feature, of course, you get two, um, you get two receptacles with this, and the, and the USB receptacle it is, is integrated in the middle. The other thing that you'll notice, if I can Turn this around. There we go. Focus. Is that this is a 3 amp output, rated output. And we'll come back to that a little bit later. But the important thing to note is that this can put out up to 19 to 20 watts at 15 volts, or excuse me, at, um, at 5 volts DC. So um, we'll talk a little bit about that in the future. Uh, general comparison, you know, really, you know, um, industry commercial packaging on the Levitons and then retail packaging for the, excuse me, for the Hubble, um, and then uh, commercial, commercial, you know, um, fancy marketing packaging for the, uh, oh, tofu, um, for the, for the Leviton and the Pat and Seymour for the Lowe's and Home Depot displays. So. Um, first thing to note is that they all come with um, English and Spanish instruction manuals in all of them, which is good, so that you read some of the important notes inside. Um, the Leviton is pretty basic. It has side and semi-rear um, uh, wire ends. It's got the clamp style connectors um, here, so it's not quite what I call backwired authentically. It's just got the clamp equivalent of it and then side wired here. Um, presumably because you might be using, I don't know, a stranded wire or whatever in the residential environment. Let's hope not. Uh, same with the uh, Pass and Seymour. Um, the important thing to note here is it has this integrated ground strap, which is a really cool feature that is becoming very popular, especially, in, for example, in um, commercial heavy industrial and hospital grade, for example, this uh, this Hubble commercial grade, um, uh, this is a 15 amp receptacle, and you can see the integrated grounding strap here is tied right in, and thus, uh, you know, provides additional security to your to your 4-inch box, your wall box, and it's ground as well. So, 
wanted to point that out. I don't know if the Hubble's featured that or not. They've got this huge enclosure on the back. They very well, they very well may. It just uh, it's not really documented if they do. But obviously, the big thing with the Hubble is that it is authentically backwired. In other words, it has a compression clamp here. If you do not decide to do a thread on, um, you will get a compression style clamp, an authentic one, which is really nice. That's probably one of the big distinguishing features of the Hubble. Um, which re leads us to price. Uh, watch, let's come back to price last. A couple other things to note. If I take these and put them up profile, you'll notice that the um, the two Hubble models are a tr about a half inch taller. So the Hubble model, not going to know in millimeters, but it's about two inches tall um, and about 1.5 inches on the, the Leviton and Pat's and Seymour. So these are much deeper. So if you are going to do that, put it into a four inch box, make sure you use a half inch or three quarter inch mud ring on it, so it's a little gang. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 411 box with a, with a modest sized uh, mud ring on it, maybe a half inch mud ring. That way I have plenty of room, especially since I'm going to do a dual gang. I just want to make sure that I have, for my customer, I give them lots of room to play in there. So, um, let's see what else. Uh, so we talked about the size. Face plates. Um, Hubble does make a hospital grade version of both the 15 amp, which is strange, and the 20 amp uh, model, which has a really, um, presumably, really industrial nylon, needs to be clean. They are all tamper resistant, but not weather resistant, which is good um, for any C specs. But notice that, so your kids won't go, well, I don't know if I probably be a lot better off in life if they had this when I was a kid. I can't tell you how many times I stuck my fingers in the receptacle. Um, but they're not going to do that. You're also not going to make contact plugging something in. Um, let's see what else? I guess the two things to talk about now with the three amp on the Hubble, um, that's really important because you're putting out as, as many as you know 20 watts or 11 watts per possibly eight to 11 watts per per side. So you basically are getting a full current charge on, on both ports when they're used simultaneously and concurrently. Whereas with the Leviton, it's not labeled on here. And that's really the only thing that I, I can really say about the Leviton that's kind of disappointing is that one port is designed as a high capacity port for tablets and one is a, oh, they do label it on this new model. Eh, maybe they got the customer feedback I sent them on Amazon. Um, they actually have like a high speed um, port that's designated here. It's not exact and it's not very intuitive there, but um, it'll, it'll at least get people thinking, oh, this one's labeled, so maybe I should go research what that is. So that's probably an improvement in the latest model. So uh, greets the Leviton on that. And uh, I don't, I can't really speak about the Pass and Seymour um, as far as charging speed. I am waiting for some feedback from some customers to distinguish. I think more or less the same situation is going to be true, or I can look at the specs and tell you, but I think you're probably going to get closer to 20 watts output on this. But Leviton or um, Hubble really has really good technical specification docs, and, and they do say yeah, 19 to 22 watts, and they even give you the annual, annual estimated ambient usage if it's unplugged, just running the internal circuitry, with an internal wall wart. Um, you know, they give you the estimated connected and unconnected draw, um, like max hypothetical and completely unconnected. What, how many kilowatt hours per year you're going to use? Um, just having the device installed, which is really nice. Again, you're just going to get a, a more commercial grade product um, out of out of Hubble. Okay, um, last thing to note, we talked about size. Talked about, okay, so that brings us to price. So the pricing is going to be closer to 19 to 25 dollars, depending on you know options retail for the uh, Leviton and the Patent Seymour, because they're going to be you know they're going to be in a price competition war between Lowe's and Home Depot. Whereas with the Hubbles, you're going to get into closer to forty to fifty dollars, depending on how you're buying them in bulk or singles, or eBay or you know, sales. But yeah, people are always asking why are the Hubbles so much more expensive? Are they a you know, longer product now? Um, we know that they all have about a five-year warranty on them, which is really good. Um, you know, you're, the whole idea here is that you want to replace the wall warts that you're constantly throwing away in the the e-waste associated with that, and so these are just going to be constructed a lot better. Um, so warranty, price, um, safety, that's about it. Um, so the only last thing I wanted I want to do is really test the potential for the transformer um, performance in all of these. And I want to come up with a test that involves charging some um, high-speed USB receptacles 
or excuse me, high-speed USB devices and uh, just kind of evaluate charge time versus uh, watts draw versus battery holding potential. I know that obviously a lot of devices are going to hold a better charge based on a higher charging capacity depending on whether or not they have a lithium ion or nickel cadmium or whatever bad battery they have, style battery. Um, so that will be a big thing. I'm going to come up with a part two of this video after I figure out a way to, you know, like modestly test the watts output on a 5 volt DC. Um, reasonable objective test. I don't want to go vendor bashing or anything like that. I just really want to see, you know, what's the story with the Leviton and the undocumented dual ports on the capacitive signal. So, and uh, that's about it for now. So, thanks a lot, everybody. Be safe, and hopefully, your customers will enjoy um, having this modern amenity in their environments. And uh, be safe. Thanks. Bye.